Last night, as I was teaching confirmation, I asked our students if they knew the difference of how the Methodists or the Presbyterians or the Catholics looked at holy baptism versus what the scriptures say and how we believe. And one of my students said it the best, Pastor, we really need to know this better. He was right. St. Peter reminds us that, that we are always to be ready to give an answer for the hope that is in us, the hope and the truth of God's word. When it comes to talking to people about faith, when it comes to giving a defense for the faith that we have, a lot of times we fall into the same traps. We feel that somehow we're just simply not equipped. I'm not the pastor. I'm not the DCE or a church worker. Go ask them. I don't know. Sometimes it's simply embarrassment. We don't want to admit how little we really know. Other times we simply do not want to risk saying something that is wrong and giving someone a wrong understanding of God's word. Those are real fears that we have. But dear saint, remember that you're baptized and remember the gift that was given to you in your baptism. We hear this in the book of Acts, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You will be my witnesses right there where you live in that city and place. We have some great examples and some great answers to give when someone asks us something that we don't know. And they can be as simple as this. Wow, that's a great question. And I don't have the answer for that. I really don't know. But give me a day and let me study and then let's get together again and talk about it. What a great way to continue the conversation and to be able to teach them. Another of those great answers might very well be, that's a great question and I don't know. Let's talk to the pastor and see if he can give us some wisdom and some insight into what that means. And the other one simply might be, I don't know. Should we find out together? You see, in the midst of this, what we're doing is admitting that, that we don't know the scriptures as well as we can, but your confession of faith is not determined by having all of the answers all of the time. Your confession of faith is trusting that in God's word is the answer and you'll be able to find it and share it with them. What a great hope and promise that we have in God's word. Don't ever be afraid to say to someone, I don't know, but then say to them, let's go find out.